Hello everyone, my name is TV Gamer for Life, and today I'm going to show you the settings of my Camp Studio screen recorder. Um, many people have the problem with with this software that the audio is out of sync a lot, and I know in my video it is also the case. It is quite out of sync sometimes, although I do a lot of things to get it synced. But I'm going to show it all to you if you have the same problem like me in Camp Studio. So first, we want to see, we want to go into the options of Camp Studio itself, and video options. Now you just need, you just need the same as me. It should really help. Um, maybe it's like half a second out of sync uh, in the end, but it's not that bad as it used to be because usually it's 20 seconds out of sync, and that's not possible to watch. It's unbearable almost. <clears throat> so what you have to do is you have to download on the official website of Cam Studio the Cam, Cam Studio Lossless Codec V1.4, and that's basically the the codec that's the best for Cam Studio. That's kind of straightforward. But yeah, some people use this, the Microsoft Video One, and then you get a bit blurry. It's not that good. The quality should be 100. It's not that big in the memory, but it does it, it does make a huge difference uh, from the quality of the video, <laughs> basically. And then, yes, 25 frames should be enough for most of the stuff that you want to record. And the frame rates, I put capture frames every 50 milliseconds, and the playback rate is 20 frames per second. Um, that's just... It just needs to be 1000 uh, if you multiply them by each other. So 20 times 50 is 1000. And one more thing, in the if you have downloaded the Camp Studio lossless codec, it's probably not going to work. That is because it's put on this, the GZIP. But it shouldn't be that. I, I put it to LZO, and that's the fast encoding used for screen, for screen capture. I don't really... Usually, I, I don't really comp uh, understand anything from that, but it's much better. The audio is sort of out of sync, maybe one second ahead or or behind. It's not that bad. You can you can still fix it, but I'm going to show that to you um, after of after this. Now, what you also want to do is to make the sound a bit better and the sound also a bit a bit synchronized with the video you need to go to audio options yeah i record i record from my microphone um it's just uh, all the sound that comes in my microphone so also the gaming sounds will be in the video so i don't really see why i should mess with all with all those settings now the audio options in this case i do the microphone audio options you want to enable this. This will be disabled, but I en I enable this and I disable that. I don't really know what it is, but it kind of desynchronizes it. It makes it makes it unsynced, and I really hate it. So I just turn it off, and this I turn on. This is also a bit the same as the Cam Studio lossless codec. It is the standard thing, so that you don't really need to render a lot uh, from this from the Cam Studio. And once you've got your video, and you've noticed that it is sort of out of sync still a bit, but it shouldn't be that big anymore, then you need to go, yeah, you need to download this program called Virtual Dub, and you place in your file, yeah, I, I can't do that right now, but you need to place in your file, and then you need to go to Video, and you want to enable this, Direct, direct Stream Copy, sorry, can't really pronounce it, and then go to frame rate, and here you you want to do this change so the video and the audio dur durations match. Th that means that it's synchronized or should be synchronized. And then the last thing you want to do is because the format is probably going to be too big to upload, it's going to take quite a, quite a lot of time to upload it. So what I do is I download the simple simplest editor ever. The, the Windows Live Movie Maker. Just click here to drag video to add to add a video. And once you've got your video in it, the one that that you already placed into this, the one that you rendered from this, then the audio is synced from that one. Um, then you just want to save as whatever you want. Uh, you, 
then you can make it make the size of it much smaller much smaller and it's it's really good and that's that's basically what I use so I I if I have a video that's like two gigabytes in size the AVI format I just use the Windows Live Movie Maker and then it's from the two gigabytes it's for example 150 megabytes which is which makes a difference in the time of uploading huh so this is it this these are my settings thank you for watching uh, I hope this will work for you if you have the same problem as me uh, I really found it annoying and this is a bit personalized I've, I have watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube but they don't work they just don't work they keep they are out of sync they're too big they're too small the quality is not good and all kinds of problems and I find this the I find this the bad the best solu ugh, the best solution sorry my pronunciation is a bit bad today I find this the best solution and now I from now on I will be able to record Minecraft videos and I'm, I'm quite happy for that because my last two Minecraft videos were were definitely out of sync I'm very sorry for that for that if that annoyed you but yeah <laughs> please uh, subscribe comment if this helped uh, definitely like this video if it helped and thank you for watching hopefully see you guys in my next video